You recording? I'm recording. Oh snap! This is oh. this is this is Milltown Kid in oh. Milltown Kid presents a Milltown Kid production. What? And we got Superman executive produce Cam uh, the Mer Mer J. All right, what we're in the hizzle, the shizzle, dizzle. All right, so what we're doing today, and that's why I'm so pumped up. It's 12 and it's 12 a.m. and I'm amped because I'm about to get into the. The, the supply and demand curve, alright? Now, what's that look? Oh, okay, that's cool. Like, I, cr I kind of crowded the board here. There's a lot going on, so it might look a little confusing at first, but I'm going to break it down step by step. You know, if I had it mounted, I would have wrote it in as I'm breaking it down, but whatever, it's all good. Yeah, you, you, said, got... you said mounted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, alright, so what we have here... This is, uh, whether you did algebra or not, don't worry about it. The P here stands for price. So right here would be zero, and as you go up, it gets higher. So you got 10 there, 1,000, it goes up, whatever. So you have price on one side, okay, or on one axis. Right here, we have quantity over a given period of time, but that's not that important for understanding. So right here will be smaller. As it goes out, it gets larger. So you have here 100, 1,000. I have quantity of Xbox 360 games, all right? So now we're going to look at just one. We're going to focus on one of the curves. It's just a straight line for it to be easy. But what we have here is, we have a little D here. That's demand. Demand, that's the consumer. That's the person who wants to buy the stuff, okay? You have demand here. So basically what this, what this, is, what, what this is telling you is, what this is telling you is, is that when the price is high, you see here, when the price is high, the demand is low. Not that many people want to buy it. And as the price drops, the demand gets higher and higher. So that's all this, that's what this represents. So as the pri when the price is high, demand is low. And as the price drops, the price falls, you see, the demand increases and more people want it. That's one, that's the demand part of the curve. Now the supply, that's the people that's, what are you doing, man? That's going to, that, that's going to totally, me no, no, you can't do it. Uh, you can't do it. It's totally going to mess it up, man. It's terrible. No, don't do it. You're fired. <laughs> you're, you're fired. <laughs> well, I was just trying to get some action shots. No, no, me? no action shots. <laughs> no action shots. Just no action. Dude, it's going to work out real nice. Wake, wake up Fred, man. Fred's going to come in here. Lay, he'll lay into you, man. Hey, I'm going to make Fred a movie star, no, dude. You're not going to make a movie star. So we have, on the other side here, we have supply. That's the manufacturers, the suppliers. So obviously, they're inverse of the demand. So when the price is low, the amount supplied is going to be low because they, they're not going to make as much money. And as the price increases... They want to, so the price is going up, the quantity they want to supply goes up. So you have that going on. So you have demand and you have supply. All right? Yeah, we got that. I don't know if this is too much going on for you guys, but here we go. Right here we have the equilibrium price. That is where the demand curve intersects with the supply. I think I might be getting into a little bit too much at one time, but that's all right. I think you guys can handle it. So the equilibrium price, I didn't, I didn't write that down. We can say it's, we can say it's whatever. We can say it's fifty dollars, even though it doesn't look like that based on my graphing. But let's look at the, let's look what happens if, if uh, all of a sudden the government said that. $50 is too high of a price for Xbox games and said we're going to make it so they can't be any higher than $10. So this is what happens. This is, this, is what, this is just what happens when there's restrictions like this. So we have $10 here. What, what's our minutes at? Am I, am I way, way over? We're at like $440. $440? All right, I'm going to wrap this up real quick. So right here we're at $10. That means that not a lot of people, not a lot of companies want to make the games, so the quantity supplied is low. We have it at 100 here. But because it's 
fucking now all all the games, Halo 3, everything. It's ten bucks, everybody wants to buy it. So you got the demand way over here. Like a whole bunch of we got let's say a thousand people want the games. But uh oh, we have a problem. What's the problem? Only a hundred games are getting made, a thousand people want them, we have a shortage right here of nine hundred games. That's not good. But we can also flip it. Let's say the government or whoever Bill I somebody says, you know what? This is, you know, the I feel bad for the manufacturers. Like, we can't let these games sell for anything less than one thousand dollars. What you have here is not a lot of people want to buy the games, but everybody wants to make them. And you have a surplus. So I might have like went too deep into the supply and demand curve. And if I did, you can ask me some questions. But, I mean, I was just so excited about the supply and demand curve, I had to share it with, with you all because it's, it's a beautiful thing. So maybe next time, well, let me know. If that was too much, let me know. I'll, like, I'll chop it up a little bit. Actually, I, I just wrote this, like, two days ago, and I was just, like, excited. I was just like, oh, my God, that's wonderful. And I thought I would share that, uh, that wonderfulness with y'all. So there you have it. The more you know, because Milltown cares. Do do do